I think the question on everyone's minds is, how did Cape Town get here? 2013, which is only five years ago, we had the record rainfall year. We had lots and lots of water. Dams were full. 2014, we had a drop in those dams. When we got to 1st of October, which is the end of the rainy season in 2015, we had dams that were 78% full. In 2016, they were 58% full. In 2017, they were 38% full. Who knows what they're going to be at the end of the 2018, this year's rainy season. What does it look like when the taps run dry? 10,000 people running down a highway, burning tires, stopping traffic to protest at the fact that they're not getting their service delivery, airports being cut off, uh, tourism closing down, people choosing not to visit here, uh, unemployment shooting through the roof, uh, petroleum closing down, the harbour closing down, ships can't come here, they can't get refills of water. And that's what they come here for, apart from offloading and unloading. Mass exodus of the people who can afford to move out, move out. Meaning that uh, much less money gets spent in the centre. It is a catastrophe. And we've got to start using the right wording. It's a catastrophe, it's not a crisis. A crisis is a, is a, is a temporary oops. A catastrophe is when the police are moving into the, the, the distribution points. The army is moving into the distribution points. Your water will be given to you under the, uh, the protection of a gun. That's heavy stuff. That's a completely different story. It's an Armageddon type scenario. We cannot afford to get to that place anywhere in the world. And this is an absolute uh, disaster waiting to happen on both sides. When they do communicate, all they do is they're reflecting blame from, from, from one party to the other, from, from national to provincial and back, or national to, to, to municipal. This is not helping anybody at all. We're just simply not listening to science. As we say, day zero seems to be on the horizon. It's not at all, it's entirely a man-made disaster because uh, the information that has been available to the scientific community has suggested that this is going to happen for some time now and it's simply been ignored from the plan because right now uh, the plan that there is, I'm afraid, is, is, is not very well thought through. We've been through so much in this, in this country, it's a hard life. Uh, we've come from a difficult past, we're going into a difficult future. It might just be that no water, or very little water, or zero water, is the thing that actually brings us together. The rest of the world will look to Cape Town for what we did wrong, are doing wrong, and what we did right and are doing right. And that will be the blueprint going forward for eternity. Thank you.